name is Tevin King. First off, I want to say I fear for my life because I put my life on the line to help other people live. It split my intestine in half. Oh. And they had to go in, stop internal bleeding. The bullet is still lodged in my pelvis. And if I make any false move with this bullet in me, I will die. I feel for my life. I really do, because I got lost, I got lost houses, getting death threats in my way. And I and I and I think I just need to I just don't feel safe walking the streets. That shit that's crazy. Shouldn't nobody go through what we go through today. Nobody. We have gone to the state attorney's office and requested help and they told um, this brother to go to a homeless shelter and um, hide when he told him that um, he was getting death threats from um, pit police officers and other um, unknown people. They told him to go to a um, homeless shelter and hide. Now, the mayor or anyone said anything? Yeah, we did receive a letter from the supervisor of the um, advocates, um, the victims advocate department, and she told us that she would um, investigate, but the problem is um, the, the people I advocate for are scared to make reports to the Minneapolis Police Department, and they only want to make their statements to federal officers, um, because as you hear them saying, they fear their life at the hands of police officers in Minnesota. And um, they do have they they do have statements to make to the federal police officers or the FBI. And I'm one of the five victims who had got shot when we was out here doing a peaceful protest in Jamar Clark with my cousin. And what I just want to say, I feel like I, I've been played. I'm hurt. I feel like I've been betrayed because I'm paying my tax dollars to police who posted and on, and on their cop cars they protect and serve with compassion and, and I'm, not, I'm not getting no compassion. Every time I come out the house every day, I'm not scared about a brother taking my life. I'm scared of a police harassing me and taking my life because they, they done told me they know who I am. And all of a sudden on, on this shooting, it, 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 it's still in my head because it's like a terror. We, we, we was out here to protect just as it was non-violent. We just wanted to talk to them guys just to make sure that they was with the protest and they wasn't with the protest and they opened up fire on us and we did nothing wrong. And like, I just went to Fairview Hospital, the doctor just shook my hand and me and him both shed a tear because he told me how lucky I am. The bullet missed my artery a half an inch, but for the doctors and for the police to say, everybody's okay, there's none life threatening. How, how was that? And, 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 it's, and it's so shocking and it hurts me, it's hurting my community and I feel like we need justice just for not Jamar Clark, but for the fire protesters and just for everybody around the world who's going through this. And all lives matter. It's just not about black lives matter. But I feel like black lives are the ones who's going through a lot right now. And, and I just don't understand what's going on. The precinct, they got a barricade up here to act like we're going to go to war with them. And, and everybody's calling me like, camera, what's going on? Why, why the precinct have the gates up like that? I, I don't know. We're not going to go to war with the police. We just want justice. And for them to say that my cousin pulled out a gun on that officer, that, that, that can't be true, because my cousin really grabbed the officer gun. Y'all will go ahead and release a tape to go ahead and prove y'all point. Right. So I know that's not true. And my cousin was just with me a couple days ago before he got killed. He was changing his life. And I seen, the, I seen on the news on Channel 4 how they pulled up his incident from July about him driving a car. That doesn't justify for why y'all killed my that's cousin right. in yeah, cold blood. Right. I'm an advocate for um, three of the shooting victims. Mm -hmm. And these is affidavits requesting um, protective custody for um, for the victims, they fear for their safety, they fear for their lives, and we have written and give um, written this to um, the um, President Obama. Um, it, it's a